Hi friends, this is Babu Krishnamurthy of Financial Sherpa. Mr. Joshi and Mr. Kumar retired on the same day. They had been working for 35 years together in the same corporate. Mr. Joshi was a man who didn't believe in planning. He went with life as it carried. Mr. Kumar was a deep planner. And this is how their life panned out post-retirement. Mr. Joshi lived, invested in the most highest returning investments post his retirement. With whatever returns he got, he lived a high life. He lived well. He lived almost uh, uh, as, as he lived pre-retirement. And he enjoyed his life. The first 10-15 years was very, very good for him. On the contrary, Mr. Kumar was a deep planner. He believed in planning and he had started planning many, many years even before retirement. So when retirement happened, he exactly knew what investments to make, what risk to take, what amount of his money had to be safe and so on and so forth. Also, he exactly knew what was the amount within which he has to live his life post-retirement. So there was a little bit of a change he made in his lifestyle post-retirement in order to accommodate the cash flows and live within the means. He had the same experience in the first 15 years. Both friends met after 15 years. And that's where they discovered Mr. Joshi had, because he had sought high returns in his investment, some of his investments and principal amount never came back to him. So he was in a little bit of an anxiety and in a little bit of a precarious situation as far as his finances is concerned. On the other hand, Mr. Kumar, who had taken risks on a very calculated basis, lived within his means, found that his finances were far, far more better controlled and better in a place. So friends, it's not the first 15 years in retirement that is important. What is important is when we all live and we're going to all live to age 85 or 90, how are you going to manage the last 10 or 15 years of your life? And that's really where Mr. Kumar got it right. The eight learnings from Kumar's life can provide us valuable lessons as to how we can all live a very, very happy post-retired life. Learning one, plan your investments well before you retire. Five to 10 years before is an ideal time to start planning post-retired life and your investments thereof. Second, Make sure that you live your post-retirement life within the means. That is, whatever is your earnings from your investments, you must plan to spend within that. Third, avoid taking loans or credit cards or any such commitments after retirement. Fourth, ensure you provide a health insurance cover for your family for any exigencies that you may face. Fifth, ensure all your investments are reasonably well diversified in various assets, some equity, some debt, some real estate. So make sure that you have a basket that's well diversified. Sixth, make sure that you don't take excessive risks. After retirement, we don't have the ability to recreate money. So it's important to make sure that you don't take excessive risks. Seven, plan to invest for really long term. Friends, we are all going to live long. So it's really in that time that you need money to work to your advantage. Eight, and the last one is work that you enjoy is what you should do. Don't work for money. If what you enjoy also gives you some money, that's great. I hope you have a fantastic post-retirement life. This is Babu Krishnamurti, your financial Sherpa, signing off.